the movies, security specialists in black hoods say decrypting the protocol. Then they type a few words and the next shot they are in. In reality, it doesn't work like this. Investigating a major cyber espionage campaign is a bit like working as a paleontologist. Paleontologists rarely find well-preserved skeletons of ancient monsters. In most cases, it's a very laborious search, analyzing a huge number of odd fragments, bones that might be part of a single creature or may come from different skeletons. Often you start with a single, small, badly damaged bone. Most people would probably just toss this bone aside and keep on going, but in security research we collect things. We work in different channels to collect artifacts that may or may not match the pieces in our collection. Sometimes we join efforts with other paleontologists and share our findings. And finally, we'll have an understanding of the APT we're really dealing with. But the investigation doesn't stop there. You need to find new samples, reverse them, reverse the communication protocol with the CNCs, map new CNCs, find new victims. It's a lot of work for a lot of different investigations at the same time. Sophisticated cyber attacks usually have very professional groups behind them. They have resources, a clear goal, and a plan how to achieve it. And there are very few teams in the world capable of professionally investigating these attacks. Kaspersky Labs GREAT is one such team. GREAT is not just about analyzing vulnerabilities or taking a look at malware. We are hunting the hunters. We are revealing the monsters. Kaspersky Lab, we process hundreds of thousands of samples every day. The art of figuring out which ones are significant is a bit like finding needles in a huge haystack. We are grateful for every needle we discover, because this makes the world a little safer. <laughs>